Welcome to the Wallet Show Aftercast. All the things we did not get to during the course of the show today. There's a lot of political posturing between liberals and uh, Republicans, and now there's a Republican, you know, controlled House, and so what bills will get through, what won't get through, and stuff. And there's all these debates and stuff. I thought this was kind of interesting because uh, in West Virginia, uh, the public schools in West Virginia may be required to uh, display the phrase "In God We Trust" in every bill building if a bill is passed by their state senate. Mm. And I thought that was super interesting because all we've done for the past 30 years or whatever it has been like is to try to remove God from schools and now they're like making it mandatory and some states have already passed this and you're like how is that possible with as bent as people who have a problem with faith being intertwined with school or politics or whatever. Like, how is this even possible that they could do this? Well, what makes it possible is that the uh, national motto that was set up in 1956 by Dwight D. Eisenhower is actually in God we trust, Uh, you know, and so, uh, it's it's a national thing. Somewhere someone got offended and we just started taking it out. So outside of even faith, it's actually patriotism and it's national <laughs> nationalistic uh, to have that in there. And so the rules for it are if you have a picture of something, you know, a flag or whatever, and you say, in God we trust, the rules in putting it in these schools is that that's all that can be written on there. It can't have anything else just in God we trust, because that's our motto. Mm-hmm. But his hope is that, you know, hey, we want to introduce God back into schools and maybe kids are going through a lot of horrible things and, and you know, they don't hear about God, but maybe it serves as a reminder that maybe there is something bigger than me out there that, that loves me. And, you know, and so it's just, it's really interesting, but you know, it's going to be a fight because it always is. <laughs> but I had no idea that that was, I didn't really think about it because it's on our money. Mm-hmm. Toby even references it in one of his new songs, uh, you know, and and you think, oh, we don't live like that mm-hmm. by our society because we've changed all the rules. Um, but maybe like swinging back because we've swung so far to the left in all of the wokeness that I thought swinging all the way back here to the right and going, well, you have to have this in there is an interesting strategy. And one I thought, well, maybe that's a really big sweep, but where you have the justification of it being um, – our nation's motto, that's fascinating to me. So it'll mm-hmm. be interesting to see uh, how this shakes out. But again, other schools have already adopted this. So uh, I'm curious if it'll if it'll work there. Uh, the Biden administration is winding down on the treatment of COVID-19 as an emergency. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there's, they're not calling it a pandemic anymore. They're calling it an e- endemic uh, now. And, and as an E-N-D? I think, uh, no, I, I've heard it both ways, like, I've heard people being clever, like endemic, like it's over. But I think there's another term actually like an endemic. It means it's not a pandemic yet. It's smaller. Mm. Um, but I've heard I've heard people try to like make it a creative yeah. thing. It is endemic. It is endemic. Yeah. yeah. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, I've never heard that, but before. it's an actual term. But then other people are taking that term and using it to say it's the end, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, so anyway, um they are changing how the government will respond to the pandemic. And I, I, you know, I still, it's weird. I still know people that are getting it, uh, which is crazy. You think, wow, that's so two years ago. Like, why are you still getting COVID? What's wrong with you? You know, but people don't, freak out as much as they used to not anymore. at all we had friends that just had it recently and they still like quarantine to be safe because it's still communicable and it's still uh contag- highly contagious but it's like the effects aren't what they were the first two years but did you know that covid was on track to be the third leading cause of death in 2022 for the third year in a row that's hard to believe third only third like the oh. government made you feel it was number 1 it killed everybody like i just, it's amazing there's not only one of us left you know because but it was still even during the height it was not number 1 you know we still had all the other issues that were killing us but that's not what ever led the news cycle that's not what anyone talked about it was always covid covid COVID, it's it's the death nail, you know? Well, because it was brand new, we don't know as much about yeah. it as we 
probably do about the first two leading and death for sure but balance things. again balance is so important yeah. go hey this is horrible but here's some good news heart disease is still a problem and then people well, were dying of heart news. disease because they weren't able to go get checked because of covid you mm-hmm. know and stuff like that but it still wasn't the number one killer but i do wonder if like you have let's say the top three and covid was number three and those people were dying because of covid would logic follow that those people who died because of COVID would not have died if COVID itself wasn't around, or would they still have potentially gotten something else and died because of that? Because then you have a if if they weren't going to die right. because of if if they weren't going to die without COVID, then it makes sense to be very scared of a number that wouldn't exist if. COVID wasn't around. Well, then you have the debate about COVID deaths and the reporting of the numbers. Yeah. And I know everyone, like, this is where it gets, like, super conspiracy theory and people will, uh, like, take me, you know, to task over this. Some people will. But there is, there was, there were numbers that were being used to further a narrative and the agenda. And I firmly believe this. I will always believe this because the amount of people that died solely strictly from COVID as a virus itself was very small. The people that died as a result of COVID exacerbating other conditions they already had was a bigger number, you know, but but they attributed that to everybody's death. Like there were things that were getting attributed to COVID that were debatable, you know, if COVID had actually caused that or not. So it was, it's an interesting time, but I just, I didn't know that. I just, I assumed that in 2020 and 21 and 22, that the leading cause of death was COVID in the United States. And it mm-hmm. wasn't, I should look up and see what it was. I I, I didn't even think to do that. Probably um, heart disease. I would think, or cancer. cancer of some sort. Yeah. What's the, say what's uh, Gavin, look up Google. What's mm-hmm. the leading cause of death seeing heart disease in the U S in 2020. <laughs> I think it's going to be heart. To, this graphic is for 2021. I think okay, it's heart disease. Fun, heart disease. This is 2021. Okay, and it's saying like heart disease, cancer, COVID. So yeah. I'm sure heart disease and cancer are still, still the there. biggies. Yeah, it's interesting. All right, uh, what do you got, Lady Rock? Well, do you remember Twitch? He was the oh, DJ yeah. for Ellen DeGeneres' DeGeneres's show, um, but he passed away uh, back in December of last year at the age of 40. But before he had passed, he had actually done uh, shot some photos with a new campaign that Gap was doing. It's a limited edition capsule collection, and they were partnering with a Haitian-owned menswear brand Mm. called the Brooklyn Circus. And so, uh, Twitch was friends with these people that were involved, and so he acted as one of the models to um, show off some of the items in this collection. But um, it is just now getting released, Mm. that whole collection. And so they're releasing some of the photos of Twitch in uh, some of the items. But uh, what's really cool about this whole line of wear is that Gap is announcing that they will support the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, as well as donate to Vibrant Emotional Health. And that's an organization that provides free and confidential counseling to those in need. 24 7 in Twitch's honor. Well, that's good because he took his own life. And so I could see it coming across as very um, distasteful to, hey, we got this campaign we already shot let's use his pictures you know the, now that he's gone right um but i think in doing so to bring awareness to mental health and 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 to donate and support it i think that's a good thing I, he he was one of those people that was like so full of life so his taking his own life like surprised people mm-hmm. i think it freaks some people out too like man if he's if, if he, he could can't do it deal. anybody could do it right and mm-hmm. so i think that it, it, pretending like it didn't happen i don't think is healthy either you know and so mm-hmm. maybe this is a ultimately a good can a good thing that can come out of the tragedy is more people at least talking about it and trying to seek mental health right and i'm glad that gap is supporting like these this suicide and crisis lifeline mm-hmm. as well as this place that gives out free um help counseling because i'm sure that a lot of that is from volunteering Mm-hmm. And so I can't imagine working a full time job and then being like, yeah, I'm going to go 
help take some calls for a suicide hotline. Like that's, I'm glad people are willing to do it, yeah. but I don't think I could do it. That's what our ground wire chat is. It's people that get trained and they are there 24 seven and they will chat with people online that are dealing with stuff. And they're, you know, people like you and me and uh, well, better people than you and me. <laughs> uh, and they will do exactly what you're saying, work a full time job, do whatever. And then they, serve other people in that way and help them mm-hmm. whenever they're in need most. I think it's, I think it's super cool. It is. Yeah. It really is. Uh, do you got any birthdays for us? I don't, but I do have a birthday question. Okay, let's do it. This one is from John. He said, if Wally, Gavin, and Pastor Chad formed a boy band, okay. what would be the name of their group mm-hmm. and... Which member personality would each of them be? Okay, I think it would be Lost Sheep. Uh, that was so quick. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we would be the Lost Sheep Boys. The lost Sheep Like the Lost Boys, boys mm. but the Lost Sheep Boys. Because mm. uh, I want to make it biblical because there's a pastor in the yeah. band. He's and not going to be part of it if it isn't. No, absolutely not. I mean, you could look up the verse that the Lost Sheep is from and you could, you know, call it like, you know, 227 or whatever, you know, but then that might be kind of dope. Uh, so uh, look up what the, uh, the oh, parable of the Lost sheep is for me please not I, I should know but i don't <laughs> well it's what? just that he leaves the 99 to find the one. Oh, 99 one would be great too good good ad- adaptation gavin there i like go. it we're looks gonna be like, we're gonna be 99 one okay it looks like it's it's in multiple uh books but matthew 18 10 through 14 mm. as well as luke 15 one through seven. no we're going 99 one because then people are like what is 99 one what is that all about and but then there people are gonna mispronounce it and they're gonna say oh nine nine one yeah oh because then too you've gotten you've got one one nine one one which is interesting because you've got nine one one like an Ooh. emergency this is an emergency for your soul nine 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 one isn't yeah. that an emergency an actual nine emergency one one line? is not nine nine one Emergency nine one one. Line. Yeah. Now I'm getting so confused. But we're gonna be nine nine one ninety nine one. That's what that's what we are. Sounds like a radio station. Anything? Um, uh, no, it's just saying nine one one. So we can take. Yeah, it. yeah. It's it's good. So ninety nine one. Watch out, people. I I call the uh, troubled black sheep with a past. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one. Oh, you're gonna be the I'm troubled the bad boy. The bad bo- <laughs> I'm the bad boy. I've got the most. No, does ta- Pastor Chad has tattoos too? Yeah, I think he's more got than more. You. Yeah, I think he does actually. Yeah, Bigger I believe he's way more of a bad guy than you. No, I've done worse things he's than a him. Pastor. Oh, I know you have. Okay. But looking at y'all, sure, I would sure. say he looks more of like a bad guy than yeah. you. Yeah, uh, I mean, well, he's taller. Yeah, he, he does. Yeah, bigger. All right. Well, what is what would Gavin be? He would be the tender-hearted, yes. like the soft sensitive one, one. The sensitive quiet one. one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. I, okay. Let's 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 put this in context of an actual boy band. Okay. Um, so must we? yes, <laughs> we we must. So he would be the tender one, which when Insync was young would have been Justin oh, yeah. uh, Timberlake. Uh, mm. Got a bright future. What would it have been in Backstreet Boys? Uh, I never. Uh, he would have been the, the blonde guy. No, I think the Brian? oh. Yeah, no, Howie, Howie, yeah, 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 that's yeah, a good one. Because then they would find out about your medical history, and they'd yeah. be like, "Oh, yeah. he's so sensitive, mm. bless." Okay. If it was in sync type he's thing, he's scared of bugs. Yep. Oh, I would be the Chris of in sync, uh, who just wanted to be paid attention <laughs> the older to. One. Yeah, and just please notice me. <laughs> Let me get dreadlocks. Look, Will that make you notice me? I've got me? beaded dreadlocks in my head. Notice me. Did so, he really do that? Oh yeah, absolutely, oh. absolutely. I mean, he did that. So yeah. that would that would. Be me, and then Pastor Chad. Oh, it's, 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 it's an instinct no brainer. Joey Fatone. He's let himself go a little bit. He's got the beard. You're going by looks, though. Like, yeah, but, but that's but, the, but I, I could see it. Like like Pastor Chad is fun. Like he's a nice, fun guy, and so is Joey Fatone. Okay, let's say that it's just the three of y'all in this boy band. Who mm. is going to be the Justin Timberlake, or who's going to be the Brian Luttrell? Mm, I, I me because I'm the most charismatic. Um, I'm gonna, really yeah more oh, than yeah. a pastor. Yeah 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 for this stuff. I know I know how to do a show. Okay, and so, oh, I think so you're gonna that, be the stuck up one. Oh yeah, I'm also yeah I'm also gonna be the prima donna. I, I think what we can't ignore is that within this boy band, like you two are gonna be the ones that butt heads. Yes, and oh, yeah. I'm just gonna be yeah. like the you'll kid be crying who's, in the corner. Yeah, exactly. Yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. 
and uh, and I'm the one that thinks I'm going to get all the girls, but it's not going to happen. Uh, so <laughs> that's yeah. me. Yeah, that's yeah. Gavin's quiet. It's like the drummer that Sounds shows like up. Sounds like a really lame boy. Band. Oh yeah, it's you want to be our manager? <laughs> no. Yeah, come on, go on the road with us. <laughs> no. Ninety nine one. Ninety nine one. No, I would say be it loud the and proud. <laughs> Worst. <laughs> no, thank you. That was a fun question. I really enjoyed that. Well, thank you, John. All right. Well, there you go. That's going to do it for your aftercast. And as always, thanks for being a potty.